And my wife could walk into the court and be like, he hit me on Tuesday. Give me a restraining order. And they'd be like, OK. If somebody is willing to lie, they just basically have to say they've either hurt me. They've put me in fear of imminent harm. There's a difference between true situations of this and made up situations. If you think of an argument that is completely aggressive and one person is in the other person's face and they're so angry, the spit is flying out of their mouth. It's hitting the other person in the face. That can be very terrifying. That in itself can be enough to obtain a restraining order. It really comes down to what it is and if somebody is willing to lie or exaggerate as well. And we've had this situation where somebody has gone into court and said X, Y, and Z occurred on this date and we're able to prove that person wasn't even in the state. People lie. Like it blows my mind. You can't always prove that somebody's lying. It's very hard to prove something didn't happen unless you can prove that they weren't there. When you are able to prove it, I think those people should be thrown into jail. Like if you're willing to walk into court and lie about a situation, lie about somebody using you just to get an upper hand in a divorce or custody. Legally speaking, you have lied to the court, so you've committed perjury. Yeah, that doesn't matter anymore. The justice system is not just in so many ways. You have to have a respect for the court system and a respect to not lie for it to be upheld. And unfortunately, people lie and there aren't any true repercussions. And if there's not, people just do it.